Welcome to Paddle Play TV. Let's review the match between Tomokazu Haramoto and Liang Jinkuin here the in the Singapore the Smash round. 2024. Tomokazu Haramoto is currently the Japan's number one. The 20-year-old lad made impressive wins during his teenage years. This year, he has an impressive 75% Chinese player in the On the AT. other hand is Bit Liang like Jinkuin, also Rumpik. known as Big Fatty, currently the China and world's number five. Yeah. He is 27 years old and currently has a 71% year-to-date win rate. This is going to be a thrilling match for sure. Two. Five. Should be caught out. Six. Into win. Blue shoes. Both players, players seem to be playing passively compared to their hot prime game. Yeah, For your information, results. Tomokazu yeah, Haramoto quarter. and Ling Jinkuin played six times already Cracking prior back. to this yeah, match in which Liang Jinkuin won five out of these six matches. Both are right-handed and with an attacker play style. That's what we've seen in this match so far. Nine. Nine. Oh, could he withstand the pressure? Oh, what oh. a spin from Lee. Feeling. No. Oh. Oh. A close out battle with Tomokazu Haramoto winning this game one. But the last two points of Haramoto in this game one style. was both from the errors of Liang Jinkuin. Liang Jinkuin seems to be having trouble finding his rhythm. Two last attacks went straight outside the table. By previous statistics, Liang Jinkuin has a higher winning percentage compared to Haramoto. Haramoto no, needs to retain his momentum to, to be able to outscore this. Liang Jinkuin. Haramoto always cheers himself compared to Liang Jinkuin. He is That's known really for his strong and loud cheer every after point. Cheats against Haramoto. Career win record. Yeah, we were talking about how. Maybe you are wondering about these so two yellow cards that seem yeah, to appear beside their names. I believe it's a technical error as they just appeared when Lang Jinkuin got his second point this game too. Was a bit rigid. So far, a good exchange of points and a close thrilling a match here in game two. So to the touch back. Into the middle then, wide so to the backhand. <laughs> Impressive rally enough from these enough. two. You've had your fun. A precise loop attacks and counter attacks with. from these two. Most Asian players, especially yeah, Chinese, are observed to most likely have this beautiful exchange of loops and counter loops compared to European gameplay. Just a beautiful performance from these two. That's getting a bit passive. Let's see if that will help him out. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. It's alternating juice. Oh. Singles. The favorite coming into this encounter. Oh, he's done it. failed horribly in this game, well, too. He, he has the advantage with two match points, but failed to close the game. Impressive performance by Tomokazu Haramoto for having his composure on the pressured 8 to 10 score. He eventually went berserk and went on a hot streak going to the deuce and completing the comeback this game, too. That was impressive. From Liang. As well, there's a real. <laughs> there's a ferocity to it. Potentially losing. 
Wow. The top half. Wow. And Wang Chuchin is the only remaining Chinese in the whole Chidong, of course, who... Just to say again, he's playing Timo Ball on the winner of this. will play the winner of that. Left. Four. This could have Romania facing the silent assassin. Four. Lum, if you bet on this event, because of how many upsets we've seen. Four. An achievement that barely anyone has managed to manifest. Six. These two are clearly showing their prowess in, in their backhand though, attacks. At the moment. A good match to learn how to properly execute backhand attacks. In terms of their equipment, Liang Jinkuin is now using Hurricane oh, 3 rubbers and DHS one. blade. Oh, Tomokazu Haramoto on the other side now. is using his signature blade so from Butterfly, the Tomokazu Haramoto Inner Force oh. ALC blade with Dignix 09C so on so his forehand and Dignix 05 on his backhand both from Butterfly. Nine. They're in for a classic at the moment. This could be... Ten. There's a recipe for success to come back. Eleven. One. Game three with the win of Liang Jinkuin. When Liang Jinkuin got his seven point this game, you already know that the turn out of events will favor him. Tomokazu Haramoto only scored oh. one point after the till he was finished. Good loop and attacks from Liang Jinku in this game three. This hot hand is now ignited, and this game four will be something more explosive compared to his gameplay on the earlier game. Takes the motor more than Liang. Just constantly, just fast and furious. Yeah. Just oh. Get on with it again. Five. Changed it up, went into the backhand of Haramoto. Wide serve. Oh. Impressive end Brute to end force. attack by Liang Jinkuin. Attacking the backhand left corner of Haramoto and then a quick loop attack on his far right forehand. The speed is just incomparable at the moment. Tomokazu Haramoto needs to move his feet more. Animals Good service by very, Liang Jinkung earlier that he even got a few points from Harimoto's failed returns. Can Harimoto end this match? Or will the Chinese that. turn the events and lead this to a decider game? Let's Look at that backhand! Just to and no Liang Jinkuin just slapped the forehand loop of Harimoto. This happened quite a few times already here in game four. A quick return close to the table will lead a millisecond response to the attacker. Harimoto failed to recover quickly that lead to his demise. And here we are at the moment of truth. The end of the Singapore smash battle between these two players this year. Can Harimoto beat Liang Jinkuin? Or has his momentum dropped and that Liang Jinkuin will finish him for the sixth time? Let's find out. Level things up here, the Chinese. Four. For to four, and this game is just thrilling. A clear battle of who got the best backhand attacks right now. You rarely see them exchange with four hand loops. Change of court in five, and let's see if both got the killer instinct to finish one off. This has been an entertainment so far. Such a good position, Liang Jinkun. What a fight back from him. <laughs> and again, Liang Jinkun just slapped Harimoto's serve. You've seen his quite a few times already leading to Tomokazu's downfall. We can even feel that Harimoto is pressured right now that he even gifted Liang Jinkun his fifth point while back with that high failed serve. Tomokazu Harimoto must be the one pressured right now as he had the 2 0 lead while ago. Oof. All to play for. Set. Is the need. Seven. Can Harimoto conjure up here? Ten. He has not lost that intensity in the entire match. 
A close comeback by Hariyoto by the Phoenix just got the best out of him. We clearly see him so frustrated that he stamps his feet and with that frustrated face. Ling Jinkuen is just better this time with that good blocks and good ball placement. Tomokazu Haramoto needs to find his teenage fire again that made him the top back then. Good game from both and Liang Jinkuen will now advance to the next round and will face either Timo Bol or Lin Shirdong. Thanks for watching and critiquing with us here at Paddle Play TV. See you on the next video.